Hello everybody, it's time for another update here on the plantation. We, uh, we have some new things that are happening, I'm going to be quick about it because you've, you've seen all this stuff before. Let's look over here at our gingers. Gingers really have grown, turmeric also has grown, but they are just getting huge and dying to be transplanted into bigger bigger pots where they're going to be making the, the ginger roots, all edible by the way too. Let me come over here. Everybody here is the same. We had some growth. Uh, the tea plant flowered. This was really great because they were so fragrant. There's one down in here. Let me show you what one of these looks like. You can see it. It fell off. But this little sucker here, can you see that? That thing smells so good. Even though it fell off, it still has a little bit of fragrance. Not as much as when they're fresh. But if you look down the alleyway there, you see the shrimp plant is doing great. Uh, the dwarf bananas are just taking over the place. They're not so dwarf in my mind. And if you, if you look at the coffee plant here, look how, how much, we're ready almost for coffee here, I think. I don't see any beans, but that thing has really been, been good with growth. We have a, a new guy over here. It's an Australian tree fern. Doesn't like the sun at all. And uh, we didn't think it was gonna do well because we had it somewhere else, but it is doing great. Looks really nice. Cinnamon, doing great. Everything is moving along. Look at this down here. You know what this is? Stevia. When you break this off, you know what that is? That's that stevia that they make in the green bags of sweetener. That is a sweet leaf. Unbelievable. Stevia. Stevia. Look at this. You have a new hanging basket. That's potato vine. Look at that nice flower. Isn't that beautiful? The whole basket. It's a new basket and everything. One of them fancy like wheat, whatever they call hanging ones. Hey, look at this. That's our new hose. Oh, I only want that much out. Pulling it sucks back in. Pretty cool. Everybody over here is looking good. Going in really strong. Like I said, dwarf banana plant. Yeah, right. Dwarf. Like koala, we, we replanted this guy into a bigger container. Oh, there goes the green anole. And he just loves it because he keeps growing and growing bigger and bigger. Cat palm, same thing. Every time we look, we see new shoot. Over here, same thing. Look at this. New shoot. Everybody loves it. See that? New shoot. Come on out. Hello. We're back here. Hibiscus. Look how huge this thing was. This was in a little pot over where the uh, tea and coffee was, and it's just hedging up. Gigantic. So is the papaya, which we propagated from the other papyrus. side. Papyrus. Papyrus. Not papaya. Papyrus. Look how tall it is in the back already. It's taller than me, which is not a great feat, but uh, just growing and, and thriving. Lantana and Pinta down here taking over. You can see we have dill. See the dill down there? Butterfly garden, they love dill. I didn't know that, but apparently they do. Lantana and Pinta taking over. Buddha plant. Buddha plant right there is, is also a butterfly plant. Uh, that's a new addition. We didn't have that guy last time. White bird is still thriving. Uh, the milkweed, that's a milkweed. This is a milkweed. We bought more, more milkweed because the, the monarch butterfly caterpillars chew them up and they ate and devoured this whole plant. Look at this. These guys weren't on here. We had like six sticks coming out because those things is munched and munched and we finally uh, got some more plants for them to eat and we let them go and they flew out for the most part and um, you know there we go this is your uh, candelabra still new growth I had to trim it back because it was laying over on top of these guys look at this looking beautiful underneath there and that's the turmeric turmeric whichever way you want to say it and those guys weren't doing so hot, but you know what? They're really thriving. And the butterfly garden, we have chimes hanging back in there. No. Uh, coral plant is huge. That thing is tall and bushing out. And it always, uh, I see the, uh, the seed pod fell off. We'll grab that, that guy later on. Uh, we have more milkweed over here. Look at this. We have more fennel. We have parsley. Nasturtiums coming back from like years ago when we planted. We have more butterfly weed over here. This is like fog, uh, fog leaf or fog, fog plant that the white peacock butterfly 
loved and uh, that's abundant around here and if you look at the papyrus this thing is like a jungle hello in there where am i vietnam so you know we cut this off and move it around it loves a wet foot this is what i can't believe this guy here is the lantana the lantana down here is just it took over it's all over the place it's just growing the, the butterflies love it there's always some kind of butterfly it doesn't matter what kind on there and they're just munching it up the candelabra guy grew since the last video we we looked at and it is thriving and growing up to be like a, a good little brother to the big gigantic guy um you look behind you here you hear a blue jay this guy let's take a look the nam wah banana is really growing look how thick that trunk is that guy is huge thick same thing with the plantains this guy over here plantain forest looking pretty good nothing different about that really just just really growing great fig tree not quite a tree yet in my mind but still growing good we did a little bit of a transplant not a transplant but dug more of a circle around where the root base is here and put some more fertilizer and mulch on top hopefully that uh, promotes some more growth and we're going to put some more root stimulator on it but this is the big deal over here <coughs> look at all those new growths again so much new leaves this thing just keeps growing and growing and growing it's a tree it's, it's like the, the big tree when you see me next to it it's like oh yeah it's rounder and taller than it was the last time we did this video. I'm very excited. Unless you're pride. And the, the mango forest uh, is not mango forest, but papaya forest is also one of the things we're really, really, really happy with because if you come on in here, guess what you see? You see a new arrival. How about you? We have papayas growing. And look who else we have in there. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see those guys in there? One, two, three sleeping tree frogs. Hey guys, don't worry. Oh, four. Don't worry about <laughs> us. Okay. And even down here, this little guy here has a, has a nub on him. I don't know if you can see it. They're going to flower. Going to be very happy. Looks very happy. Uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, the tangelo tree. Looking pretty good. The honey bell oranges. You can see that this thing is just colorful and the greasy looking leaves that they have. You see new shoots coming up every little place you look. We're, uh, we're fertilizing and, you know, re-fertilizing and re-putting the uh, mulch on top of everybody here, by the way. Uh, this is what I really wanted to show you guys. Because the last time we looked at the pineapple forest over here, it was looking good, but not as good as this is. Look how bright and opened up everybody is. They're just opened up and loving life. And can you please give me some more sun is what they're saying. I can hear them. Uh, new addition. This is a very new addition. This is Barbie Pink Guava. We just picked this up yesterday. We went to a, a show out in uh, Lake... Uh, Wales. <laughs> you know lake wales lake wales that's right we went out to a show there and we picked up several other things that uh fog plant we picked up we picked up this and it's supposed to be a fast grower and give us some nice pink guava yes. look at the view through what was once little muley grass this grass is really taken off and it's gigantic and beautiful look how beautiful that pink is i don't know if purse lane is growing the red flower you see down there is going to be drooping over the front soon. It opens up and closes up every night. And the lovey planted her lemongrass um, from seed. This stuff started in, from seed. And we have a couple spots all over the yard where we have that. And, you know, these crotons are just getting covered. You know, they used to be the star out here. And now they're like, you know, a second, like a secondary B actor now. They don't even have a line or two in the play. Look at the Christmas palm has those sabers sticking up. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up. But there are some nice sabers sticking up out of here. See those sabers shooting up over there? Getting what we wanted, actually. And those leaves are all falling off, which is wild. When they fall off, they look kind of funny. Here's what one of the leaves looks like. It falls off like this. This is wrapped around the core. And whoop, 
falls off, you come out and there it is in your driveway. Forest here, more basil. The white roses are, are very nice looking and they smell good. Mm, love them. Uh, we lost we lost our buddy here. Let's have a moment of silence and uh, just say that's where our rosemary was. He didn't make it and that was obvious to us. We had to do something. We have a new basket here full of flowers that Lovey made from the uh, empty the old one out and made her own little grass and different types of flowers and it always looks wonderful here. All right, here we are on the side of the house now. Uh, the carambola tree always have these nice little red new guys coming out and it's growing. We're, uh, we're glad that this thing keeps going like it did because we didn't have so much good luck with the, the first one we had. And we love carambola. We like to juice it and we like to have it for New Year's when everybody has that tradition with the carambola. Oh, look at this guy in the hyper tufa ball. That's one of Tim's hyper tufa projects. That's just really cool. We like the pineapple sage growing in there. How do you like these little trumpets? You see those things? Can you see them? They're kind of cool. Trumpet sage. This is some more of the stuff that we uh, intend little petunias or something, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to put those around the pool for some more color. We have some more vine. This is the nursery area. Look how clean and different this is. Do a nice pan over there, sweetheart. Because this is so much cleaner than it was. I mean, the whole potting area is looking so much better and better all the time. And it just looks like it grew here. Looks like somebody planted the uh, station. We have so many cool things. We have passion vines sitting there ready to, to climb up the side of the trellis. The side of the uh, pergola once we get it going. We have different kinds of uh, uh, butterfly weed. We have broccolis growing in the back in these little styrofoam cups. We have different types of kales. And we're, uh, you know, maybe we, we pull them too soon and put them into other cups, but I think they're gonna grow. We have papayas already starting, all different kind of papayas, more lemongrass, blueberry. Look at this guy down here. Blueberry shooting up now. We could probably snap him off somewhere trim him back. So the blueberry guy is going to make it. We'll check the acidity on that soil too and make sure it's a little acidic. Look at this. We have our squash. Looks like we have squash coming up. We have beans coming up. A couple beans are shooting up. We have a whole lot of different things that the lovey planted in there that we're, uh, we're going to see sprouting up here. Red beets. Uh, we have some different colored Swiss chard. Swiss chard, that's right. Carrots are over here, you see. And, uh, you know, we'll see what comes up. We usually have pretty good luck in this garden. And we kind of emptied it out. Well, Lovey did. She emptied it out. And we have a tomato plant over there, fresh. And we got to tie that other tomato plant up. That's looking really well. The allspice tree. Put them in a new pot. See that big pot? <laughs> we put them in a bigger pot. He seems to love it because, you know what? This thing is just gigantic. It grew so much and it just loves to be watered in, in the sun. And it's a fair weather kind of guy. And this is the guy we couldn't wait for you all to see. Look at this stuff, the bleeding heart. That's amazing. It's already above me, which again is no big feat, but it was down here. That thing was all the way down here. And in a month and a half, it's, a, it's gonna be up there at the end of November. I guarantee you, this thing is gonna be up and ready to to hit the top of the pergola and take a look at the pergola base for a second. Look at this. We tamped it down. We had the, the plate vibrator out here and we were, we were tamping it and you know getting ready for pavers. Next time you see it hopefully we have all pavers. This is kind of a another pickup from out there in Lake Wales. I was real happy to get this an elderberry tree it's it's gonna shrub we're gonna top it. it's gonna be like an elderberry shrub but these things do tree there's a lot of different varieties of them i was reading about and this is one of the varieties that if we let it go and we can see that we're right underneath wires here so we kind of got to keep it round and underneath the wires so we don't interrupt with what's going on right here so this is going to produce elderberries like my pap used to make elderberry wine elderberry jelly my mom used to make so you know, when you have a cold, you gun down a seven ounce of elderberry wine. That's how we used to do it back in the day, you know, that was the thing. Uh, also a new one, the Moringa horseradish tree. 
And these things, it's a little bare right now. Well, it's a lot bare right now. It doesn't have a lot of leaves on it, but this thing is just so useful. Every part of this tree is useful. And if you look at this little flower here, this leaf, and you eat it, they call it a horseradish tree for a reason. It kind of has that snap, that little bang afterward. Oh, there it is. Yeah, kind of spicy. So this sucker here, I cannot wait until it grows. We're going to let this thing grow and fan out because the leaves are edible, the bark is edible, the fruit on it's edible and use, uh, useful. It's a high antioxidant thing. It's, a, it's like a superfood, super tree. We're very excited because it's right by the compost. So there's no reason it's not getting any nutrients. All the grass around the compost is dark green. So this guy is going to be in good luck. Another addition this month is Dutchman's Pipe Vine. But I want to show you something. These guys are getting munched. By who? By the Pipe Vine Swallowtail. And we had the fortune of hatching one and releasing it. Maybe we'll attach a little link and show you that guy flopping around. And I can't see any of them right now, but I know they're on here somewhere. But this anyway is a very, it's an awesome plant that has an even more awesome flower. And it's a host to the pop, the pipe vine swallowtail, which is an awesome rare butterfly. And we were fortunate enough to be able to see it go from caterpillar and in its larval stage. And uh, we saw it out of its uh, cocoon and let it go. And it was on my finger and it flew away. It was kind of cool. Enjoyed it. Come on over to the last part here. We're still getting eggplant over here in the garden. It's still producing fruit, vegetables, you know, and it's looking pretty healthy. It's a pretty nice, nice green color. You can see the flowers on there, so that means eggplant right there. Oop, there's a baby one down here. Look, that's going to be an eggplant. And that, we have had some really good luck with all these different kind of eggplants. They're real small, like white eggplant and these small ball eggplants. They don't get like the regular big size eggplant you know another new addition look at this guy Buddha belly green bamboo uh, it doesn't look too great right now uh, we're, we're trying to keep it alive because uh, it's just a really great bulbous looking kind of uh, bamboo really proud of this okra look how thick this okra got from last time we just snipped it we have a big uh, bowl full of okra in there and a couple little baby eggplants too basil is flowering another candelabra that was snuck in there we didn't even know it, it came in there it was awesome to see that and it's already flowered and uh, you can see that it's been eaten here too so that means that there were sulfur caterpillars on there munching away and probably flew off after they hung their cocoons up cocoons uh, again this is lemongrass from seed these guys it's like a, an amazing grass and this stuff just smells so good and they they cook with it in Thai food and man, if you can just smell this it's real lemony it's, it's it lives up to its name um, another bamboo here is the majestic yellow and these are grasses by the way these are just different forms of grasses and like any grass if you top it you cut your lawn you're cutting grass it grows back better and that's what you're uh, supposed to be doing with these guys you top these off and they grow back and we've seen a whole like forest of these things in a clump they have a good clump and they're yellow and it's fantastic and they grow so high 15 20 feet high and i can't imagine i just want to stand behind this guy too because if some year this guy turns into like a cluster of 15 footers i want to be able to have a picture of what this looked like back when it was a baby over here guess what more lemongrass it's next door neighbor we have some more mint right I think that's marjoram. Marjoram. Marjoram, okay. Not like marjorie, you know, or not like the stuff that we put in that's like butter. But it's uh, yeah, marjoram. Uh, the, the pink lantana from on this side, not so good, to beautiful, to um, trying to make trying to make it. Alamanda. Trying to make it. The guy in the middle looking really good. So many flowers. Uh, maybe the other guys will come back. Maybe they won't. Lemongrass over here. And uh, this is really great because when you see, oh my God, look at this guy on here, lovey. Here we go. 
Wait, who are you? I don't know. What do we have here? Nothing but a leaf. Okay. This is the uh, traveler palm, traveler tree. And this leaf right here, you see how tall this sucker is right here. This guy here, it's so big, this particular leaf, the one that's coming up out of the middle is going to be bigger than this. It's going to lay up and over this way. You can see it's going to come up and list over that way. It's going to be huge. This thing was nothing but down here at about three foot out of the ground at the beginning of the summer. And it's just this big, huge growing plant. We have tarragon that didn't look like it was going to make it. That made it. It's back. It's living. And oh my God, this is the smallest frog I've ever seen in my life. Look at this guy here. Can you see him? And there's guys all over there. There's a guy in here. Look at this guy. There he is. The little tree frogs. They're everywhere. They're good. They're eating all the bugs. If you take a big shot down here, look how much this has grown. This is the potato vine. Sweet potato vine. This guy, I can't wait. We have one more month before it's harvest time. And I almost don't have to cut the grass back here. Because it's ready to like take things over. That and this guy over here. Same thing. They love the sun. They love the humidity. Their, it's their thing and uh, I believe it's next month and hopefully we'll have some sweet potato for Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving dig that uh, looks like the triangle palm is always doing good one of, there's always one guy needs to be whacked whacked down this guy here and uh, he'll let us know because he'll fall past three o'clock there's always a new sword saber coming up out of the middle on this guy we moved the poinsettia from the pool area to out back and it just keeps growing and growing and getting stronger and stronger. And if this thing gets enough darkness, it'll uh, change and it'll flower. And that's what we want it to do. We want to have those nice red flowers that you, you get on the normal looking poinsettias at Christmas time. And this is already going to be a year old at Christmas when we got them at South Brevard Nursery. God rest its soul. We missed that place. And this is the last part down here that I really wanted to show everybody because these were we're transplanted baby papayas and uh, we have looks like in here up oh, look at these guys more frogs hiya hiya two back to back right in there they're everywhere but there's little nubs in there they're gonna flower already and this guy over here look we have a flower lovey woohoo there it is papaya tree this guy's gonna produce fruit so we're whoop guy blooped off of there too so this guy has fruit, the other uh, traveler palm looking great and it looks like um, if you look over here, this is the end of the tour actually, there's a sulfur butterfly jamming around inside the, uh, hmm. too hard to catch. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the tour, that's at the end of the line, everything is looking good here, there's uh, a couple different changes and uh, we'll do another report and maybe we'll be cutting into a papaya. Uh, next month hopefully and we'll uh, have some papers down and everything will be looking good take care